Well, it's a fine dry morning here in Hawaii. Uh, and yesterday we did some rocking and rolling and a little bit of shaking. Yeah, we had a 5.1. Uh, it was 5.1 earthquake, uh, 8.5 miles south southeast of Volcano. Um, 29 miles from Hilo. Uh, that puts it roughly about 15 miles here from the house. So we were pretty close to it. Um, it made a good shake. The windows rattled uh, in the dining room area, I know, when it went. It was followed by a 3.1 uh, that was not noticeable. I, I didn't pick up on that one. But the 5.1 was quite evident. Um, we were sitting there at the dinner table. It was 5.53, finishing up dinner. And, hi, Gracie. And uh, all of a sudden it started. Well, Ellen went into PTSD and she's freaking. And I'm going, huh, what's the problem? Oh, oh the windows are rattling. Oh, it's an earthquake. Oh, cool. Uh, she's panicking. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's some reaction from having been through the big one in California back in the 80s, I guess. Uh, but, the, the, these things terrify her when they happen. Um, I don't know, having been through a bunch of tornadoes in the Midwest, I think you get used to them. <laughs> but anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, we, so we had another one. That's that's uh, a pretty good size shake. It was evident. We knew it was there. Uh, people who are possibly thinking about wanting to live here in paradise, I will forewarn you. The island shakes constantly, yes, constantly, every day. We have earthquakes, yes, the earthquakes of the day, not just the quake, the quakes. Um, they've been closing a lot of roads in the national park up here uh, because they're worried about things breaking up. There's been a whole swarm, a series of small, like 1.5 uh, and such earthquakes right around Kilauea. This is, again, pretty close. It, nobody's making any predictions on it, but it, what it could mean is that uh, um, there could be some magma shifting around and Kilauea could get started again. And she's pretty sleepy right now. Um, so it's a possibility in the near future we may be seeing uh, some new eruptive force in the park. But yeah, yeah, the island's always shaking. So if you don't like earthquakes, this is not a good place to be. Now we're not on any kind of fault line or anything. It's really just the pressure mostly of magma changing under the island, but and settling of the island. The island's not hooked to the seafloor. It's layered with lava, black sand, lava, black sand. The black sand acts like ball bearings. The island slides around on it. Uh, that's a real funny feeling. Uh, California, we usually have these Z-wave type things or S-wave type quakes. The 6-9 we had here years back was one of those rolling S-wave things. The ground actually did that. You could see the waves in the ground uh, here in the front yard. But no, this uh, settling thing is different. It's a it's a side to side. It's a side to side, uh, like somebody kind of squatting into a chair. It's a, a very odd feeling. Not at all like California earthquakes. Well, Gracie has popped in here. She heard my voice, looking for attention. She's waiting for me to open the door. Right, girl? I don't know what happened out here this morning. She wanted to go outside. Let her out the door and. Oh, this cat yaller. I guess there was a, there must have been some other cat out here. Apparently, though, no harm done. Uh, she looks fine. So, I know I came out with a lantern and something screamed at me. I don't know whether it was Gracie or another cat. I couldn't see it was dark. Not much more to say today, folks. That's just a 5.1 earthquake. Yep, right after dinner yesterday. Anglos.